What is up everybody, I'm your legendary commander, and welcome back to an episode of Baldur's Gate 3. In this video, we're going to take out the trash. <laughs> yes, that trash right there. But, well, that's probably enough. I know there's something that comes after it that you guys probably want to see. And I went through and recorded every single variant of how the party responds to you killing him. So the first one is going to be no party and just yourself, and then the next ones after that are going to be individuals, followed by different configurations of the party. A vampire in your midst. And you let him get close enough to strike. You know you got lucky tonight. But will your luck hold? You'll need to be cautious. Next time, the dice of fate might not land in your favor. A vampire in our midst, on top of everything. I should have seen it coming. Still, he wasn't the worst company, bloodlust aside. Part of me will miss him. We certainly won't. I might start preemptively staking visitors through the heart. Bloodlust, if you say so. You're the one who nearly lost their neck over it. He was a lot of things, but he's gone now. Let's not stand here dwelling on it all night. All right, how did I miss that that guy was a vampire? Blinded by good hair, and not for the last time. Still. I kind of liked him. Sharp in all the right ways. Right. Next time a witty fop insinuates himself into our good graces, I'll check his breath for copper first. I'm just glad you're all right. Next time we recruit a new friend, I'll give him a good once over before we turn in. Pity he couldn't keep a lid on his appetite. Might have been fun to have a reformed vamp around, and a Baldorian, no less. Oh well. Pale One is gone. And for the better, given his dubious palate, you acted quickly and justly. As the Geich covet mines, so do vampires covet blood. I'm tempted to commend you. I'm certain this will pass. You acted justly. As the Geich covet mines, so do vampires covet blood. It is their nature. And I do not intend on becoming anyone's meal, vampire or otherwise. An acquired taste, I imagine. By all means, lay yourself out for the next threat to feast on. I do not intend on becoming any creature's meal, vampire or otherwise. Gunt bearing, saucy voice. I should have seen it. The signs were all there. Then again, he wasn't the worst. Handy in a fight, if nothing else. As long as you didn't turn your back on him. <laughs> you can say that again. He was the first and last undead to get that close to the blade. You're not wrong. But maybe let's try to take fewer of those risks in future. Elegant bearing. Then again, he wasn't the worst. Handy in a fight, if nothing. He was fun. And a ruthless killer. The two are not mutually exclusive. Wit, like fangs, that much I knew he had. Actual ones I did not suspect. Of course, he was quite a character. Can't say I'll miss him. I can't say I won't either. Just so. He was a dangerous ally. To us and our enemies both. It's a coy thing, hindsight. Gives you a glimpse of what could have been and nothing more. Wit, like Fang. Of course, he was quite a character. What's done is done. All we can do now is carry on and maybe be a little more skeptical of those we meet. All right. How did I miss that that guy was a vampire? Blinded by good hair, and not for the last time. He wasn't the worst company, bloodlust aside. Part of me will miss him. Need I remind you that he tried to open one of our necks like a Thalian Red? But he didn't, right? We learned a good lesson for pretty cheap. So, the Pale One is gone. It's for the better, given his palate. He wasn't the worst company, bloodlust aside. Part of me will miss him. Need I remind you that he tried to open one of our necks like a Thalian Red? I did not bring this danger into our camp. Perhaps whoever did should be more careful in future. Elegant bearing, saucy voice. I should have seen it. The signs were all there. He had wit as sharp as his fangs. Can't say I'll miss him. I can't say I won't either. Are you simple? He tried to drain one of us like a stuck pig. Easy. The danger's past. 
Let's just be more careful about which strays we bring home. All right? No, we won't. From now on, we'll only make new, interesting mistakes. It was a risk that nearly cost you your neck. It doesn't matter. Astarian's dead. For good, this time. We're safe as we can be. Do you have any brain left? Or has the worm claimed it all? It doesn't matter. Astarian's dead. For good, this time. We're safe as we can be. Just so. He was a dangerous ally. To us and our enemies both. You are just fortunate he did not go for my neck. I would not be so agreeable if he had. It hardly matters now. Astarian is dead. Permanently. One can only hope. If you want fun, take up juggling. If you want trouble, keep inviting undead bloodsuckers into our camp. Easy. The danger's past. Let's just be more careful about which strays we bring home. All right? It was a risk that nearly cost you your neck. Let's not lose sight of what matters. Astarian's dead. We're safe. From vampires, at least. If you're looking for fun, I can recommend several excellent novels. And very few of them will try and kill you in your sleep. Let's not lose sight of what matters. Astarian's dead. We're safe. From vampires, at least.